guys and welcome to a melting basket of empties if you didn't notice i didn't post one of these last week because my friend was here and i just didn't feel like filming so let's get into the monster pile of empties i might not remember these amazingly because some of them's been like a couple of weeks i'm gonna pull out all of the bags and then we will do the bazillion scent shot but anywho so we had ice princess from l3 which is pink sugar and sweet peppermint melted this in the bathroom really enjoyed that Gollum from Sassy Girl Aroma, Banana Nut Bread, Marshmallow, and Zucchini Bread. Delicious banana scent. Would 100% get again. Oh, Hogsmeade from Fantasy Wax. I do have a code with Fantasy. You can use Hannah 10 to save 10% off. This was just straight fridge baguette. And it was just like, literally made me want to go get bread. Back where I used to live in New York, we had this like bakery called Columbus. And you could go there and get like hot, fresh loaves of bread. Oh, so good. I melted orange caramel cake in Cafe Cubano from Birdies. This was pretty good. I don't remember a ton, but I'm assuming it was pretty good. Um, this one was so yummy. This was a blend from Kristen, and this is at Birdies, and this is Coffee House Vanilla Pound Cake and Sugared Pralines. Amazing coffee scent. Loved it. Caramel Macchiato Cookies from The Pharmacist's Daughter. The Pharmacist's Daughter just kind of like slaps. Their wax throws so well, so that was really good. Banana strawberry jam vanilla wafers. I did not like the combo. Sorry about that. I did not love the combo of strawberry and banana, but it threw really well. It just was not for me. The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena from BCS. This was a very underwhelming mint scent. It was so strong on cold, and then on warm, it just kind of lost its oomph, which I don't have the best performance with BCS, so I was not surprised. Wicked Plumbers from Rose Girls Birthday Cake, Lemon Cheesecake, Waffle Cone, and Carbs. I just put the rest of this in. Honestly, I don't really remember this one other than it just kind of not really smelling fruity at all. It just kind of smelled like a nice bakery. From Birdies, we have Cornbread, Sweet Potato, and Brown Sugar. This was just a nice, warm, comforting bakery. Enjoyed that. We have this Custom from Sassy Wax Melt and Pretzel, Strawberry Pound Cake, and Zucchini Bread. This just had the journal of fried dough that like all of my wax from her has we had makes me want a hot dog real bad raspberry jam key lime pine zucchini bread i melted this primarily in chris's office so i don't really have a ton to say but i think he enjoyed it cinnamon sugar buttermilk pancakes and whipped cream this one did not have the best performance from l3 we had from birdies making sense claws i said so peppermint buttermint pink sugar marshmallow fluff i have no memory of this one Blizzard Breezes, Peppermint, Spearmint, Creme de Menthe, and Toasted Mallow. I melted this on one of the days this past week where, like, we were iced in, and it was just, like, the vibes. It was great. Oh, my head. I'm, it's early and I'm grumpy from Birdies, which is blueberry, muffin, and vanilla. I have decided I just don't like blueberries, so that's kind of, like, a me thing, but otherwise, it was fine. Pink Sugar Tea and Cakes Custom from K's. This was Andrea's. Amazing. Loved it. Told her to make it again. We have from Birdies Making Sense, Never Stop Dreaming, Pumpkin, Pecan, Waffle, Pretzel, and Zucchini Bread. This was so good. Amazing. Loved it. Ugh, this one I was so obsessed with. From Kay's, another one of Andrea's Customs, Blue Sugar, Zucchini Bread, and Warm Vanilla Sugar. I took a picture of it. That's how good it was. Finished up Auntie Hands from Black Magic Melt. It was good. Moon Child. This one I liked it on cold, but it was not very strong on warm. This is my friend Madison's custom of strawberry pound cake, ice cream scoop bread, and sugared shortbread. This was amazing. I loved it. Then we had a Johnny and June from VCS, which is jelly donut sweet bakery dough and buttercream cookies. For the most part, I didn't smell this at the end. I had like a couple of chunks that like I cut poorly and they were really big. And those I could smell, but it was like probably an ounce and a half, almost two ounces in my warmer, which is just silly. And then I have a bushel and a pack from the pharmacist's daughter, which was raspberries, glazed donuts, vanilla butter fudge, and funnel cake. It was fine. I'm not obsessed with raspberries, so it wasn't like my absolute favorite. This is going to be loud. I did have a wax in this week and spilled some wax on my bathroom floor and had to scrape it off with a card. Okay. We have the burrow, which is strawberry bread, and I know I had multiple of these. I love this scent amazing 
sweet potato brown sugar mama Odie. this was a good like thanksgiving warm which reminded me of like family and coziness churros from dizzy dog this one was not my favorite it almost gave me like an alcohol note but it was so strong Ugh. so strong michelle channer chocolate chip cookie this one was just fine not obsessed with chocolate chip cookie scents we had sweet coconut and vanilla frosting I don't remember this one. I think I might have melted this one alongside the chocolate chip cookie and the chocolate chip cookie overtook it. Another Michelle Tanner. I just put that one in my bedroom. Shrieking Shack Pie Crust. I'm obsessed with pie crust on its own. I just put in this snickerdoodle scent so I don't have a ton to say about it. Another strawberry bread. Uncle Jesse Cool Water type. This is exactly what you would expect Uncle Jesse to smell like. Smells like a hot, sexy ass man. Mmm, so good in the bathroom. Minnie Mouse Summer Scoop Tight, smell like strawberry ice cream. Really good, really strong. Another strawberry bread. We had DJ Tanner Rice Krispie Treats and Cotton Candy Frost one. This one I didn't get much performance out of, but both of those scent notes are quite light anyway. We had Goofy, which was cookies and cream. This one gives me a maple note. I don't know why, but it was so good, so strong, just maple leaf. And finally, Sticky Bun, which is one of their core scents. This one is amazing. I need to pop a couple in my Etsy cart just so when I purchase again, I can grab some of them because they so yummy. Now we'll move into our basket. Not that you guys know that these are rollovers. We have two clothes I've been working on. I'm getting to the end of my drawers. I will probably show me refilling them in a vlog clip, but I'm down to like just a lot of loaves. So my baskets are going to be quite small in the upcoming weeks. It's just going to be mainly loaves. I have like a couple pieces left of sweet and salty from Salt Magic, Salt Mountain Melts. And I am working on Christmas with the Clauses from L3, which is a god tier. Okay, I am pulling into more loaves. We have collectible lunchbox from VCS, which is raspberry jam, peanut butter, and zucchini bread. My sister is coming to visit this week, so I think these loaves will make changing my wax quick and easy. I'm not, I don't get the hype behind this one, but I also don't love raspberry. So it's like just fine. And then I did gift some of this loaf. I don't really remember who to, but it's Coke cake, which is cola, white cake, brown sugar, marshmallow loaf, and vanilla. Andrea recently melted this scent and said it gave her like a gingerbread cousin. I'm cold. It smells like flat Coke. So we will see if that transforms. I have no idea what this is because the label fell off, but this is Rose Girls mystery scent it's definitely like an almond bakery it's actually really good mm, i want to take a bite out of it it's so yummy love that we have these little donuts from sassy wax melts this is pretzel zucchini bread and cornbread i think it's from zucchini bread that just smells like fried dough that's all i get in this it's just a fried dough scent buttermint peppermint sample from l3 smells like buttermint and peppermint not really much to say about that we have got this little chunk that my friend madison sent me and this is glazed and confused from birdies which is coffee house glazed cinnamon donuts pancakes and butter brickle so good i love a maple coffee scent it smells like you're going to a diner big fan i have bunches and bunches from um, the pharmacist daughter, which is strawberry pound cake, sugar cookie dough, waffle cone, and rainbow sherbet. Very like summer energy with the strawberry pound cake. And the rainbow sherbet actually mixes quite well with that. Looking forward to it. We are going to be having some 70 degree days this week, so I feel like that'll be a good one on those days. We have creme de menthe buttermint cake batter from L3. Amazing. I am going to be requesting cookies with the clauses in loaves in any form. So if you guys see me in the L3 Facebook group, thumbs up those comments because we need her. I've got a sample here in Pretzel Don't Cross Streams from L3. So good. Two more of Andre's Case Customs for the bathroom. We've got Palo Santo, Pumpkin Pecan Waffle, and Strawberry Pound Cake. It's interesting. It's almost with like the sweetness in it mixed with the palo. 
I don't know. It's very good, but very interesting. I also have this one, which is clean cotton, pink sugar, and lavender. It's so funny because I usually use the bathroom that's like in my bedroom, like the ensuite bathroom. So this one's going to be going in there. Then this one's going to be going in the guest bathroom because I actually pretty much hate all of these notes. Yeah, it's just not my vibe, but I am, those are the last two scents I have in my current bathroom drawer, so we rolled with it. And then I do have five scent shot cups. We have got Krampus, which is Marshmallow Peppermint from Fantasy Wax. This gives me almost like a chocolate note, so we will see. We have got Pluto, which is Peanut Butter Cookies. I feel like this is just gonna smell like a nice bakery on warm. We have a Christmas story, which is peppermint sticks and vanilla. Oh my god, ow. It's in my nose, the glitter. Yes, it is peppermint scent. We've got Bowser, which is banana cream pie and whole wheat bread. Love it, I love a banana. And then finally, we've got Tiana, which is fried beignet and powdered sugar. This one's so good. It's like dumb good, it's like annoying. Look how good it is. But that's everything, guys. That's everything in the melt this week. I definitely will be having some rollover with all of these loaves, especially because the the cookies with the clauses loaf, I foresee that one rolling over quite a lot because that's something that I will only be melting. Well, I'll probably be spending more time in the living room this week, so maybe I'll melt it in the living room. But typically, since I'm obsessed with it, I only melt in like my office and bedroom. But that is it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you do not, then, well, give it a thumbs down. Because either way, you're helping out my channel. Comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.